Shockey showing some great moves, staying in bounds. <laughs> and how about that <laughs> for a forearm? Wow. Look at Keith Hamilton's gray head. And saying, That's what we want. We, we want an offensive guy that plays like a defensive guy. No question, that play definitely set the stage for a rookie season that was standing room only for Jeremy Shockey. Then again, his giant teammates knew what number 80 was all about. Day one of training camp, that's when Shockey got into a fight in the dining room with linebacker Brandon Short. His season, though, ended in the Pro Bowl. This season, a new season, but as we hear from Matt Weiner, it will be the same old shock attack. Jeremy's kind of an in-your-face guy. I want the other team to hate him. If you like him, you like him. If you don't like him, you don't like him. And he doesn't really care. Love him or hate him. In one season, Jeremy Shockey managed to divide the entire NFL into two distinct camps. Liberated by the relative freedom of the pro game, the brash Oklahoman brought emotion to every play. College, you can't express your feelings. You get flags here. You can't. I'm going to take advantage of it. So, you know, it's just... That's just how I play and how I, you know, I'm going to hit somebody in the mouth or hit me in the mouth. That's just, if I was fighting you, you're going to hit me before I hit you. I mean, I hope you would. He's not doing it for promotion. He's not doing it just um, so that somebody goes look at Jeremy Shockey. He's doing it because he's excited. He's emotional. And that's just how he is. I've talked to him. And there's a few things that I think he could shave off the rough edges. But one of the reasons I wanted him here uh, is because of his personality. That personality is what opponents hate and what the Giants admit, after some initial reservations, they've grown to love. His competitive spirit and everything he does is about winning. I think that's why guys on this team, despite all his antics, his flamboyance, you know, his, his flashy hair, that's, what the, that's why they love him, because all he cares about is winning. With a guy like him, we just let him do what he can do and uh, know that, that uh, the positives from Jeremy Shocker are far going to outweigh the negative. Shockey's already legendary on-field exploits are topped perhaps only by the tales of his Manhattan nightlife, which calls to mind another New York football hero and famous Big Apple nightcrawler, Joe Namath. <laughs> uh, Broadway Jeremy? I think he has a, a fur coat like that. <laughs> I'm not a Joe Namath. There's only one Joe Namath. But it's on the field where the Giants need Shockey to really star. He's the missing link, because you can move him around. And a lot of times in matchups, he's too quick and fast for a linebacker and too physical for a DB. And uh, so your tight end is one that draws it all together. He's got that switch that flips on on Sundays, and uh, he, 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 just, he just brings an excitement to the game. You know, I think I got a little respect last year, and uh, hopefully I can uh, keep doing that this year. One more shock. He's 894 receiving yards, the second most by a rookie tight end in NFL history, behind only Hall of Famer Mike Ditka's 1961 performance. That's not all. Shockey's 74 catches puts him second all-time to Keith Jackson's 81 in 1988.